What's up? I got something new in the mail. Check it out. New Lorenz HDS Live and 7 inch. I would have gone with a 9 inch, but man, I, I couldn't justify the cost of spending the extra uh, $800 for the bigger unit. And uh, this will be an unboxing video for the HDS Live. So let me see if it, there's a way for me to figure this out. Hook up this camera and put it right here. Bend it right here. Let me go ahead and flip the screen. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the unboxing video right here, and let's see what it, what it comes with. Check out that new Lorance system. Comes with the unit. Damn thing is hard to open up because they put this plastic right on top of the cover. It makes it really snug and tight. Check out the brand new unit. As you can see, this is where the cards go. Nice unit. Let's put that back over here. What else does it come with? comes with the new transducer, the all-in-one. And check it out. It comes with the metal brackets now. For the Elite TIs, the regular ones, it comes with the plastic brackets, and those plastic brackets don't work well with the uh, native boats. I actually had to purchase this by myself on the side to make it work well with the native boats. And it's good to see that they're providing metal brackets now. So we got the transducer over here. The transducer is the new all-in-one. It's not the total scan, but it's a it's a three-in-one uh, active imaging. It's supposed to make the uh, the down scan and your side scans a lot more crispier. And it comes with some hardware, power cable, more hardware, manuals, template for flush mount bracket and here goes a gasket for the flush mount and surprisingly these Lorances don't come with the cards anymore say C map US enhanced preloaded but they don't have the uh, the inside pro chip or the Lorance chip which I think is a better map so this retails for a thousand bucks also want to share that this new Lorance HDI live unit um, is live site compatible as you can see here coming soon all right so I got my fish fire installed um, because the parts are pretty much exactly the same so all I have to do is pull out the old one and put in the new one and it's done as you can see right here we got the transducer mounted in a dedicated spot right here underneath and using the Hobie uh, through hole mount right here and routing the wires. Now with these Lorentz, they actually have three wires. So you have to actually use one with two wires here and one wire on the side. And it's hooked up here in the back. And take a look here in the back. There's a lot more ports in the back that I'm actually used to, but um, it works out. What I have to do first is I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my TI. And so I'm gonna show you how to Export your old waypoints from your old fish finder and import it to the new one. This is my old fish finder right now It's at a Lawrence Elite 5 Ti. I got it plugged in with my Dakota lithium Battery and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on And to import or to export your Waypoints you're gonna have to use a mini SD card and I have one right here which is a SanDisk 32 gig, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in to the SD card port on this Lorentz Elite Ti, which is underneath this rubber flap right here. Oops. Now with this SD card, there's only one way you can actually plug these in. Now 
we're going to go ahead and go to the main menu. Go to files. Go to waypoints. Export. And we're going to use data file version 6 export. We're going to choose my memory card. Hit OK. And we can choose new if you want or you can use the default name. I'm going to use, it, use the default name. And that should do it. If you take a look at the memory card right now, you'll see that my waypoints is which is called waypoints routes trails usr. Okay, so that takes care of that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this card, turn off this fish finder, and I'm going to hook up my new fish finder. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this back on now. Going to open up this flap right here. This flap, you got to use your fingernail to pop it open. It's not like a, uh, a rubber flap like the old one. This door is held by magnets. So take this card and pop it in here to the bottom slot because my top slot is holding my uh, maps card. Go wait for this to load. It's loading the charts that's on my card right now. Hit accept. And I'm going to go to the main menu. Go to storage. Go to the bottom card. I found my waypoints file and we're going to go ahead and choose import. And do you want to import the car uh the waypoints? Yes. There we go. So right now let's go ahead and take a look. See my waypoints showed up and there you go. So my points here up in Folsom Lake is showing up right now. And that's how you import your waypoints from your old fish finder to your new fish finder. Okay, so you saw me export my waypoints from my old Lorance Elite TI, I poured it into my new fish finder, and I went to go ahead and install it into my boat now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it in here now and see how it works out. Now I will say that these units, they the power draw from these are a lot more heavier than the Elite TI, so. Okay, everything's looking good so far. Now I did have one issue at one point and I fixed it earlier before I turned this on. It was not allowing me to see temperature out of my transducer. And let me show you how I fixed it. Went to settings, went to network, and went to data sources. And data sources went to sonar and water temperature. And at one point it was set up to global. I set up to local and I chose the correct uh, transducer sonar, which is on channel two. And channel two in back of the unit is the black port right here. Not the blue port, the black port. And channel two it will only be used for down scan and side imaging. So you have to use channel two. But I changed it and now, um, you go back right now I have water temperature now right now the temperature is actually 65 degrees that's just the uh, the room temperature awesome. well, now take a look at that did you see the side menu side swipe to the right was not used that way you can use the full screen on here and that's key because if you have if you're using a screen your fish finder and this menu is on the side you're not utilizing the whole screen you need to actually move it to the side right here to get the whole screen um, there's a way for you to make sure that uh, that automatically hides itself and to do that you need to go to the settings system advanced user interface and take a look at this auto hide menu you want to make sure that it is on okay and by turning it on to the on position this menu right here will auto hide it itself. That way you don't have to swipe it to the right. See that? Convenient, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm not getting any fishes right now because you take a look right now, it's on a stand. And um, so I'm not able to find some fishes. So we we'll, won't be able to go ahead and fine tune this until I get onto the water. But uh, yeah, looking good.